That's not what a parrot says, is it? and welcome back to my channel. Today I am at Westbury Antique Mall in Bloomington, Indiana. It's one of my favorites and let's go in and let's see what we can find today. Now I see one thing that I'm going to get and it was this little bucket. I'm starting a new little collection. You get all the fishing stuff in it, which I don't necessarily know, but look at the old Kmart. That's kind of cool. It is $7 for all of it. I like the bucket. It's a bird. It's a bird turtle. All right, I'm gonna film here at this booth. Booth 857 is one of my favorite booths that I usually get quite a bit from. So, oh, look at the squirrels. These are $6.95. These little guys. What are these? Hunting hunting scene. Squirrel salt pepper shakers there. Oh, where are you? You're a Framingo. Stork? Framingo? It's $14.95. Look at the legs on that bird. bought a blue one. I like this um, plate plant stand. It's a little Siamese cat shaker. $2.95. Czechoslovakia. I think it's a cat back there. Cool. Let me grab that little parrot up there. Oh, here's another collie planter. I just sold this. This one has a little bit of a boo boo on it though. It's $12.95. I sold this exact same one that's just this past week. See, it's got a chip there and a chip there. She's fun. She's a toothpick holder. With that, I don't know what kind of dog that is, but there's a little Frenchy. I will get that. This is Morton Pottery. This little French bulldog. Again, I like to buy breed specific dogs. This is also Morton Pottery. It's $10.95, which is a little more than what I want to do right now for him. I'm going to grab that parrot here just to, you know. A few mementos. It is a pink and green parrot. I like it. So we're going to get him too. That's not what a parrot says, is it? That's what crow says. Here is an amber fairy lamp. I'm not going to get the amber today. We have Ironwood Michigan salt pepper shakers. Bunnies. These are sun la table. Look at those. They got little bunny slippers on. Those are pretty adorable. This looks like it's Japan. Yep. $4.95 for the little, the little air plant in there. This should have a whole set that goes with it. Oh, he's got a little boo-boo on him's head. Let's see what's on this side. Here we got some. The young folks. Buzz tape. Dick Tracy. Oh, Canada. I love your ketchup tater chips. Oh, he's ready to fly. Some little Florida. I kind of like those. I think I might get the heat fun too. This is Avon. 
See, it's a snow owl, but I think I'm going to get it. I just love his little sparkly eyes. I'm going to get you. These are the Wade whimsies that are the storybook ones. Which are kind of fun. It says Humpty Dumpty. Um, little nursery rhyme ones. I think I said fairy tale, but they're nursery rhymes. There's a little, little nugget. This would be nice for Father's Day. It is seven dollars and ninety-five cents. These are nice too. Fourteen ninety-five for the bookends. They're Yukago. I might get those too. I'll check them over to make sure that there's no there's no boo boos on them. Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna look those things over real quick and then grab them. I really like looking at all these little miniatures up here on the shelf. It's five dollars. Cute, and then some salt and pepper shakers. Oh, these little owls are cute. So cute. Some little pigs. A little turtle and a frog. And then what do you got down here? It's a dollar for the little Frenchie. I'll get him. Dollar for the two little bitty pigs. What is this guy doing? Is he a Shriner? Is he smoking a pipe? I don't understand what you're doing, fella. There's a little pig there. Where are you? Oh, you look too clown like to me. I'm gonna put you back. A little owl for a dollar. I'll get him too. I did pick up a few more other things that are in my cart. I got this really pretty art glass bird and this little pink bunny. You put your little cotton balls in his butt. What else do we have? Oh, look at what we got here. We found a blue bird. Oh no, crapola. It's got a cracked beak. Okay. I'm sorry, fella. I love these little black, or these little plastic banks. I think this is a skunk. Oh, you're like, I don't know what you're doing, but you're, you are a skunk. This says a dollar stuff. This is a dollar bear. Little suitcase salt and pepper shakers for a dollar. Those are kind of cute. I'm not getting that bear. I'm just, yeah, I'm not going to look at him. Red hat. Mark wanted me to come and see all of the little collages that they've made. This one's a little Halloween one. And a little Christmas one with the plastic Santa. How much? They've used an old crate. Uh, $35. That's not terrible. There's another little Christmas one in there. Halloween. And another Christmas one. And another Halloween. They're kind of neat. Ooh, this is pretty. $24.50. That is not a bad price for that, honestly. Oh, 
Okay. Niagara Pals. Made in Germany. Hmm. Niagara Pals. Oh, it was a reef. Take a little bit closer of a look at some of the other things that they have besides the collages. stuff on the table. What does she have on her doilies? Four dollars and fifty cents. Green Cambridge wall pitcher with metal trim. Wow, that's gorgeous. 145. Okay, Mark said there's two things on maybe this, three. maybe three, things that I will like. Well, I already see one thing for sure. And that's this cat. Is that one? That's one of them. $8 for Bill's cat. Uh, I don't think I want to do $8 for Bill's cat. Okay, so that's one. This? Maybe. That was one of Oh. It's Brazil. Is it on that same shelf? Maybe. It's the chicken pots. Yeah. yeah. Aren't they redware? They're redware. They're fifteen dollars for the set, which is not bad at all. Good job, Mark. I like that. I do like the cat, but I don't. I don't want to do eight dollars for it. All right, and we just need it downstairs. I sometimes find things in this little cubby thing here, so I'm gonna look in this little cubby here. See if there's anything that's jumping out at us. It's very they have it displayed, so I'm cute. This is fun. I like the lines on that. What's it say? What do you say, Bull? Mid-century modern black bull or planter turquoise glaze at $8.95. It's kind of neat, isn't it? I mean, this is right by the steps, so we'll think about it. So a little toothpick grabber guy. There's another one. like that too. It's terracotta. Okay, um, um, if it's still there, it's meant to be. I will pick it up. What is this? Well, that's adorable. $14. I have to get this. I really like that. It's a little marine. It's a marine dog. What's this one? Is that another? It's another pillowcase. It doesn't have an animal on it, but so you get two of them. They're kind of neat. They're kind of like this needlepoint. There's two of them, but I don't know. This pillow covers. I think they're five dollars each though. Any gum gum. Gum gum. It's fifty dollars. He needs gum gum. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome to the whole portion of today's video. I got some really cool things and this is one of my very favorite places to go. One of a couple of my favorite places to go here down in my area and this is Westbury Antique Mall in Bloomington, Indiana. 
I've got a lot of good things. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because I have quite a bit. One of the very first things that I found, it is something that I'm keeping because I'm working on a little bit of a display um, in my own home with these little lithograph buckets, little sand pail buckets. This one is made by Ohio Art. You can see the little name right there, Ohio Art. It's a little bit of rusty and crusty, but I don't mind that all that well. And I'm going to put these up on a shelf with some other ones that I have collected. Uh, and it's filled with all of these vintage fishing floats. I mean, I mean, we we fish during the summer, so we might use these. But look at the old Kmart logo. Rest in peace, Kmart. I miss Kmart. There's some other little things in here that too. Some weights, but you know, we will just stick those in the toolbox. So that's a win-win. All right, I picked up this. This is super cute. It's these little, little prixies, little, little prixies in a shoe. Um, and the little shoe has these little, I'll show you the best part here in just a second, but the shoe has like these little holes. It's basically like a little planter. And um, it says it's Japan ethical or ethical Japan on one side. And then you turn it over and it says my sweet home. And they're little devil prixies inside. Or maybe they're just devils. I don't know. But look out and in. But you can put a little plant in here. This is just really like 1970s, I think. It's just fun. It's a little boot with little devils in it. On the little toe right here. So you can put a little, little succulent or a little air plant in that too. So I thought that was really cute and fun and just whimsical. As well as this elephant. It's an elephant bank. This reminds me of the Brady Bunch. Ooh, I got really excited there and that knocked you over, fella. This is the snooty little, or maybe he's just tired. Maybe he isn't snooty. Maybe he's just tired. It does have the stopper in it. It says it's made in Taiwan, but it's just fun and mod and I don't know. I just really liked it. So I did pick him up. And Everything I'm going to show you, with the exception of the little bucket, is available for sale. So you can send me an email at thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and I'll let you know if it's still available. Or it'll be coming up in an upcoming live sale very, very soon. All right, I got this. Now, it's kind of funny because the last... One of the last time, I think it was maybe the last time that Jeffrey had came down to visit from, you know, Real Nifty Vintage, he had bought one of these from that same antique mall. It was a different booth. Um, and I don't remember who made this. I'll have to ask him. But it, I just about had a heart attack. You just about saw me pass out on the floor. Let me hold it with both hands. It's made in, it's a USA pottery, but it has these clovers on it, on the top there and on this side. And it's really, really nice for a St. Patrick's Day decor. It was a really good price. There's no chips or flaws on it. It just says USA on the bottom. So I got that. I really liked it. And I don't know, I just thought it'd be really cute for St. Patrick's Day. So I'll probably put that up in the cabinet that I store away all of my holiday items. All right. And then I did get this little Avon owl. It's Avon, yes. But Avon O's is fine with me if it's fun and kitschy and it has a good look to it. And I like the look of this here owl with the jeweled eyes. These Some of these Avon perfume bottles, while they're not extremely valuable, so, you know, I don't know that I would... Don't bank your money that you're going to go out and buy a bunch of these and you're going to make millions of dollars. But they're cute if you want them from a decor standpoint. If you like them, if I don't sell this, I think it'll be really cute in a display. I love his little blue eyes. What were you? You were Snow Owl Sonnet Powder Sachet. I wonder if you still smell. He's empty. Oh, it's a powder. He's powder. Yep. Smells like it, a uh, sonnet. Smells like a sonnet. Isn't that a poem? It doesn't smell that great, but there's no powder in it. It's just the, the remnants of the smell. All right, and I got some salt and pepper shakers. S another owl. 
They're little Florida owls. You know, Florida's known for their owls, but they are known for their oranges. And these are really cute. They do not have their original stoppers, but I don't know, just for a little decor piece with owls, I thought that they were really pretty cute. And I want to say that I've sold some very similar to that before. And I got these shakers. Now, if I remember correctly, these were like a dollar. They were in a dollar basket in a booth. They were, she was just trying to get rid of some things. And I thought that they were really cute. They're little luggage salt and pepper shakers. They don't have, well, this one does have its stopper. I don't know. I just thought they'd be cute on a shelf. Little luggage for a dollar. Can't not buy it. Oh, here's another little owl. That was a dollar. And these little baggies I'm going to put away because they're nice to ship other things in or to keep other things in. This owl was originally two dollars and she was marked down 50% off. It's just a little porcelain owl. It's very cute. Sticker off. Here we go. A cute little owl, little miniature owl with little blue accents. And then we got a little, little Frenchy. I think this is a little French bulldog. He is rubber. Oh, I thought you were, um, I kind of thought that he was not. I thought that he was ceramic, but he's rubber. But still, I'm a Frenchy, Frenchy bulldog. Very cute. All right, so those are my little, my little munchkins that I got. And then I got a, this cute little planter. Oh, this is so weird because I just showed you a Frenchy, and there's a little Frenchy planter. Look at him. I believe that these are made by Morton Pottery. You know what? You could be a Boston Terrier. What do you think? Do you think he's a Frenchie or a Boston Terrier? I'm kind of thinking Boston Terrier, but I didn't think that Boston Terrier's ears stood up like that. I don't quite know what you are, but you're cute. I have sold this little guy before. There's his little tail. He isn't a bunny. That's not a bunny's face. I know he has bunny looking ears, but he is some sort of a dog. I'm going to say either a French Bulldog or a Boston Terrier. That would be my guess. And then I got these two little planters. They are made by Shawnee. They are Shawnee. How, okay, they go like this. And they're these little children that are hugging a cornucopia. They're hugging these little vines or something. I don't know why. It's kind of odd. But a little boy and a little girl hugging the vine. Uh, they are Shawnee, I believe. They're not marked Shawnee, but they sure do look Shawnee to me. Um, little little vases, I, I think. They're a little strange. I, they're a little strange. I don't quite know. But I'll do a little bit of research and see what I can find about those. This little guy is super cute. He's just a little pink bunny. And the back here, if you turn him around, you put little uh, cotton balls and he can hold your little cotton balls. Isn't he cute? He kind of looks a little grumpy or a little, he kind of looks a little evil. I mean, he does. Look at his face. Hey, hey. I don't know. You know, I like him weird looking like that. So I like you, bunny. You got style. All right. And then I got some pigs. Now this, I... I, it's not marked Lefton, but it sure has a Lefton face. I'm not quite sure if he is Lefton because sometimes Lefton will have some sort of identification number on here. And he doesn't have anything to tell who he is. But he has some crazing on him, which I like. But look at those lashes and the flowers. So cute, this little tail. So I got him and I got another little pig right here. This one's really sweet. Let me take his little, I'm taking off his little tag around his neck. This one is Norcrest and it is a bank. I think that that one's, I mean, I mean, this one could be Norcrest too. I don't know. It doesn't have a sticker and there's no identification mark on it, but this one is, has a sticker and the identification mark and it's Norcrest pig. Look at the little rosettes and look at his little tail. Isn't that so sweet how it curls up like that? Oh, I love it. 
And I love the black with a little pink. He's a bank, but he's missing his stopper. But it is Norcrest. And there is the stamp on the bottom. So cute. And I all of the rosettes are in, they're all in really good condition. He also has some crazing on him, which I really like. I like that about you because we all have our wrinkles and our little crazy marks as we age. Happens to all of us, Bella. Don't feel bad. All right, I got these bowls. They are, are they both made by the same? No, they are not. They are different. This one is a divided bowl. I love this. This is, um, it is melamine. It's made by Mel Dale. Mel Dale. Genuine melamine. Melamine is the type of material that is used and Melmac is the brand, but this is Melamine. Beautiful color with this divider. You could put two different kinds of cheese in here if you would like. And then we have just the open bowl, and this one's a, in a blue color. This one is, it's Spalding Ware out of Chicago. But aren't these great? Look at the shape of that. Isn't that fantastic? I love these. I love them. So I did get those and um, I got these. Now, I paid up for these. I, I took a picture of these and I put them on Instagram and I got quite a bit of messages about these that people really were interested in and they wanted to buy them. I paid up for these. I got the Franciscan Atomic Starburst Cream and Sugar. I did. I paid forty dollars for the set. The sugar bowl has a little chip right there, and it's also missing the lid. Unfortunately, missing the lid and has a chip. The creamer is in excellent condition. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Iconic style. They are Franciscan. Here we go, Franciscan. These are, they're just everything. Um, but these will be available as an offer up. So I'm not selling these outright. They will be available in this coming Wednesday's live sale. So make sure that you come to Wednesday's live sale. It's one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. These guys will be up for sale on Wednesday. I love them. But I did pay up for them. Next, I have this really pretty blown glass vase. This, when I look at this, it reminds me of being underwater. I don't know why, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And it has some greens in it. It's lovely. It is hand blown, but it, and it does have the pontel mark is very um, smooth on the bottom, but it is beautiful. Love it. And then I got this gla art glass bird. Now this isn't the, the Bluebirds of Happiness made by Terra Studios. This is just an art glass bird. Again, has a very smooth uh, pontil mark, has been sanded down very nice and smooth. I love the green and the yellow in the tail. It's very nice. I got those two pieces. And then I got some well, let me show you this first before I get to the fabrics and the ephemera. Um, I got a California. California knows how to party. They do. I love California. Um, this is California, the Golden State. A little souvenir plate that I picked up. Very nice. These just look great as an accent. So I really like those. Um, and I've got some California girls that like, also like California. All right, and then I got some fabrics. I got this little doily. These colors are amazing. In fact, this was laying on the table that the Atomic Starburst were sitting on. I mean, look at that together. The t oh, it's just so good. So I love the colors on that. So I did, I did get that. And then I got this. Oh my gosh, I love this. Just wait. You're going to like it too. I promise. 
This is just perfect for Memorial Day that's coming up, uh, 4th of July. It's just Veterans Day. It is a little puppy dog. I'm going to say you're a Marine. But look, he's got, he's got little flowers in his hand. He's going to see his sweetheart. He's on leave. It is a pillowcase, and so it's open right here. It's where you can put a pillow insert. But look at that face. Oh, and I paid up a little bit for this too, but I just couldn't resist it. I could not resist it. And it is, it's, it's dyed. Like the fabric is dyed. So his suit is dyed blue and around his ear is dyed gray. Oh, it's so, oh, I love it so much. So I really like that. And then I got this tablecloth. I haven't measured it, but I will measure it before I sell it in a live sale. But it is this nice square tablecloth, linen tablecloth. It doesn't have any holes or stains on it. And it's this beautiful aqua and cream, like a creamy, a creamy color. It's not white. It's more like an off-white. So I got that. And then I got some ephemera. Well, let me show you this one first. This is kind of fabricy. I saw, I've seen, I've seen this the last couple of times that I had gone in there, and I didn't buy it. And when I when I went in there last, I just decided that today was the day. And it is this vintage needlepoint, um, and it's it's the now I lay me down to sleep. But it has all of these little critters on it. We've got little hedgehogs down here, an owl, a kangaroo. There's a little baby owl. They all have their babies. Here's the mama with her little baby ducks. The mouse, the elephant, the little cats. So I thought this was really a fun piece, especially for a nursery. It doesn't have any glass in it. And I love that the frame is painted orange. Now the back of it has been, it's been attached with duct tape, which I don't, you know, that, whatever. But that's there. It does have the hanger. So you can hang it. Um, I just, I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. So I picked it up. That day that I went in there was the day I was buying it. Uh, and then I got some ephemera, a little bit of ephemera. I got this cute little book. It's the number nine, the little fire engine. And this is a Rand McNally. I love the graphic. Look at him. It does have a little bit of a sticker, but I will use some of my undo to get that little sticker off. But it's Rand McNally. I don't know if the copyright date is in here or not. Um, it's, no, it's not in here at all. I'm going to say, oh, well, it has an inscription of 1953. I was going to say it looked like it was from the 1950s to me. So the inscription on the inside was 1953. And I picked up, this is a lot of ephemera. And the thing, the reason, the, the thing that I liked most about this pack was this. It is Coates and Clark's table settings book number 321 the new look in table settings look at that pink and then on this side it's blue so on the inside it's just different doilies and different table linens there's texture i think it's basically like like a catalog for these different projects that you can do in the different stitches but I love the cover of it and on the, uh, the inside, and I probably will sell these all together as a lot because they're very similar. This is doilies. So how to make doilies. There's another doilies. Doilies. This one is edgings. This one's also Clark's edgings. And then we have handkerchief edgings. Oh, this one's fun, these, these block collars. The doily book. Doilies. Oh, I love that, I didn't even see this one. <gasps> Ooh, just wait. This one is pot holders and oven mitts. I want that one with the face. Oh, that's good. And this one with the deer on it. Look at that. Lily Doilies, design book number 67. This was 10 cents back in the day, made in the USA. Here is Treasures in Crochet. 
and motifs in crochet, doilies. Ooh, could you imagine making that one with the peacocks? Cutwork crochet. Oh, I want this too. Look at the little cat. Quick gifts. Now, quick, quick my rear. That would not be a very quick project for me. Oh, look, you can make a cozy for your casserole. That's fun. American Thread Gifts. What? There's a lot in here. I didn't realize there were so many. Fairs and Bazaars. Crochet Suggestions for Fairs and Bazaars. And then the new crochet ideas. So I got all of these. And I want to say I paid like $2 for all of these. So um, that it was a great deal. And I will probably, I probably will, I might make these into two different lots. We'll see. And then the last thing that I got were, oh, I love these, the, the paint by number puppies. This one is some sort of a spaniel or a setter, could be an Irish setter puppy. And then this looks like a little puppy collie to me. Aren't they cute? Now they have almost like, now the, the wood is not bamboo, but it looks, it has a bamboo look. So I think these are definitely probably from the fifties. Um, Oh, is there a eight by 10? It just says Bloomington. So there's no date on them. Um, I got these for a really good price and I am going to sell them as a set together because they're brothers, they're, they're brothers or sisters. We don't quite know, but they belong together. The artwork itself is in very good condition. There's no glass, so they're very lightweight. So it should be, it should do pretty well in shipping. And that's what I got. Those were all of my treasures. And I spent on everything that I showed you, I spent $223, which is, I, I spent a little bit of money, but I got some good stuff. I'm excited about the things that I got. And I think I did okay. I, I hope that I did okay. But thank you so much for watching the shop with me, a little bit of the shop with me. And then now the haul. All of these things will be available either in a live sale, and I do have my live sales every Tuesday and Thursday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and or you can or you can send me an email and see if the item is still available. My email is thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>